Welcome back, you guys. This is Tessindra, continuing my CK2 campaign as the Emperor of Germania. Empire of Germania, sorry. I uh, sometimes call myself the Emperor and sometimes just the Empire. I'm sorry. Uh, we did go ahead and... Uh, well, we did kill some kids to get their land, and now I am a Kinslayer. Hopefully, we can go ahead and ask the Pope for forgiveness. Uh, let's see here. Oh, is it a intrigue option? Go away. Uh, let's see. Buy indulgences for my sins. Let's do that. Let's see what happens if we do. Maybe we can be forgiven. Uh, young Helga, why am I training you? Kind or erudite? You have a lot of learning, but you are Midas touched. Let's just make you kind. Or, you know, not. Ah, I want these hosts gone from my realm. Okay. So, what I want to do... You guys go here, and then you guys merge up like here. The Holy Father has granted us absolutum. Ab absolution! Wow, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, we pay 172 gold... And I get some piety. But am I still a Kinslayer? What the fuck? No! I'm still a Kinslayer. That sucks. I paid a bunch of gold for piety. That's not what I wanted. Let's go humility, I suppose. Try something new-ish. The peasant revolt is over. But we still have this host being a dick. Okay, so, go ahead and attack, and you guys get in there as well. What is this compose of? I think it's mostly just lights. Yeah, lights, heavies, and a, a few heavies and some archers. Yeah, yeah it's, it's very easy to kill these. But they don't actually die, they just go back. He lost a, uh, one fourth of his army there. Uh, my nephew, let's make him into... Uh, we'll be rivals with him and make him ambitious. That's fine. Uh-huh. Vassal levies raised too long. That went away immediately. Thank you very much. Learning. Or we could go martial. Let's go learning. It's fine. We became friends with a bishop over here. Thank you very much. Um, let's see here. Oh, you're weak. But you are a woman, so that does not really impact you as much as it would if you were a guy. I'll give you Thrift Focus. Uh, what is this? A holy man came to court today to talk about matters of faith, but it soon became clear he, had, he held rather unorthodox views. Being a zealous defender of the church at all times, I believe I did the right thing when I gave the order to imprison Imprison a blasphemous pagan who dared criticize my faith and my church. So this guy, my random courtier, will react to imprisonment. Did I imprison him or what? I was still shaking with rage at the pagan's blasphemous words when Bratislav took the opportunity to whisper good work in my ear. Oh, he approves that I'm zealous, but did I just get somebody in my prison? Oh, I have a lot of people here. Can we ransom some of these? Yes, we can. Let's do that then. Let's get some extra cash. Thank you. I think I'll go ahead and join like the Benedictine order. And maybe we can get a familial kinslaying forgiven. Apostate. Ah, uh, you're not related to me. You are Count of Rana. Well, I'm gonna burn you. Sorry. Well, I'm not really sorry. So there's a war going on right now. This guy here is at... No, the war is over. Alright. Let's have a talk to my daughter. Ah. So I tried to buy a gift for my daughter to surprise her. But it seems like she ruined the surprise by what? I don't know. Let's have a serious talk with our daughter. 
She is mad at Guardian. Oh, well, come on. She is fuzzy, fuzzy, and she is curious. Well, you know. And she's gonna get either learning or stewardship. Two and two. Ooh, we got three and two. I really like that. I really like the fact that the orders give me access to better training for my children. Uh, I can go thrift. So just the basic level. Your wards have a chance to gain increased attribute points during their education and upon reaching adulthood have a chance to lose wicked traits and gain pious ones. So this is really good to build up your dynasty with like good characters. Um, like look at Germany over here. We are Germania. We are really, really big. But if you want to form the Holy Roman Empire, which is like the idea behind this campaign, I'm gonna need to take over Lombardy and form the empire, the Italian Empire. And in order to do that, I need to wait for the threatening to go away, and I need to find somebody. Who has a claim on this. Who is not 70 years old. Hmm. Okay. How do I get a claim on this? Maybe we can get you killed. My kinswoman is your heir. How does that happen? Arrange marriage. Uh, let's arrange a matrilineal marriage with this guy here. Let's try to get you some children. I don't know why. Oh, right. I remember marrying this woman off to him. And she's apparently of my house. Oh, this is a matrilineal marriage. Awesome. That is awesome. I, I must have missed this. But can we get it? Can we get this guy killed? If we can get this guy killed, we can gain the entire kingdom of Lombardy. And look how look how big it is. It stretches into Aquitaine. Let's see here. Uh, Lombardy, and then we check Empire of Italia. Yeah, he's got more than that. He's got Burgundy up here. He's got a piece of Burgundy and Aquitaine that is outside his Italian kingdom there. Court chaplain. Well, let's spend some of our piety to get a decent dude here. Let's see. Uh, expel the Teuton Order. I I can drive the Teutonic Order from my realm and seize their castles. However, it is a very impious thing to do. I need to have a thousand piety. So I can actually kick them out and take this castle. But I'm Catholic. They're Catholic. I don't have to do this. We can let them stay. It's fine. But let's go ahead and invite, like, five holy men to court. Let's see how many good ones we got here. No, no, no. Here. Eighteen. That's fine. Eighteen is, is usable. Let's try to uh, proselytize. Let's go over here. Uh, study technology. No, just keep scheming. You can try to get some money. you training troops. Let's just organize the army. Why do you dislike me? Murdered close kin. Whoops. Um, sorry. It was an accident. It was completely an accident. Everybody does not... Nobody wants to do this. Oh boy. Okay. Is there any chance I can get somebody to like me a bit more? If I die, this guy inherits. Does he inherit everything? No. My son inherits. I'm starting to think she might fancy me. Well, she has the lover's pox. I'm not touching that. Hell no. But let's try to work on our assassination over here. Once I finish this. Oh. That's fine. Go ahead and get married. Groom and heir has been fulfilled. Thank you. Let's do see the realm prosper. And... Hold a grand tournament? No, we're not going to do that. I'm trying to do too many things at once here. Let's go Intrigue with you. That's good. Duchy of Pomerania. Can you usurp that? No, I'm not going to do that. So, let's see. Who is willing to help me kill you? Nobody. I guess I'll just have to wait until he dies. 
When he dies, my kinswoman here is going to inherit this. I'm going to send you some money to make you like me. You don't have a claim on this, but you are going to inherit this. Assuming you don't have any more children. She's 42. I think it's unlikely. Uh, my courtier. Trusting or charitable? Charitable. It's better. It's better. So we might get Lombardy at least into our dynasty. I don't think they're going to accept becoming a vassal, though. You managed to convert one of my subjects, not the whole province, though. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's go to speed four. Let's try to get this defensive pact away from me here. What are you trying to do? He has acted dishonorably towards me. I can't do this. Um, why not? You are a malcontent. King Ladislav the Cruel. Uh, you're returning a favor to King Vladislav. This one. You are returning a favor to Prince Jiri of Germania. Okay, so if I get rid of you from the council, or maybe I can make you an advisor? Um... You are not good as a marshal. Ah, uh, well, I can swap you around. So let's see. Uh, let's see. Change council position to marshal. Okay. So now, if I wanted to do ah, uh, wait, what the fuck was I trying to do? I was trying to arrest somebody. Yes. He is the, my spy master. That's right. So even if I changed him, he's not going to do this. Okay. Uh, anyway, I can make you loyal. Can I send you some money? This will not increase his opinion of me. Oh, god damn it. Oh, god damn it. Well, you know. I did get... I became a familiar kinslayer, so that's going to piss off everybody in my dynasty. You want me to build a church? No, sorry. I don't want to do that. Ah, okay. Detached priest. We can get married now. That's good. We can check up on our ward and see if we can fix something for him. He is no longer cynical. That's good. So I can get rid of random negative traits and maybe even give him positive traits when I finish educating somebody. You are strong. Let's make you intrigue focus. Uh huh. Yeah, being a kinslayer is really, really bad. So I am a theology focus. Can we do this again? Prosperity events. Can we try to buy indulgences again? Donate to charity. Let's do that. Okay. The Manichean Faith Triumphant. I don't really care. Expel the jewelry. Do we have a loan from them? No? We can just kick them out. No, we don't need to do that. We can borrow money from them and then kick them out, but it's fine. Let's go on a pilgrimage. I need to try to get something done here so uh, I can get rid of kinslaying. Let's go to the Holy Land. My journey begins. Uh, I'm going to go with stewardship uh, with you. Or... No, let's go marshal. you got some trade. you got a rowdy. That's good. Let's hope that once I come back from the Holy Land, things will be fine. Uh, the rain has been pouring down for days. It's almost impossible to travel the roads. Why does the Lord punish his faithful pilgrims so? I can become cynical now. Let's, we might get flu or pneumonia. We got fatigue. Uh-oh. 
Try to treat my symptoms, please. As you pass through a village along the pilgrim's path, an old woman comes up to you. She has recognized you as a pilgrim and explains that her daughter and her family live close to your destination. They are suffering hard times and she asks you to bring them a large purse of money. Lie and keep the money for yourself. Secretly add some money of your own. I will lose charitable. Let's add some money of my own. Uh, he strapped me to a chair and had you sleep sitting upright for days. I cannot fall asleep when I'm sitting down. I have tried. I have to be laying on my back, otherwise I just I can't fall asleep. I can become shy. No, I can get a new friend. During the last couple of days, you've made company on the road with a holy knight on his way to the same destination. Yeah, we'll make friends. Steward of the Teutonic Order. Cool. I suppose. Uh, I am now... I got malaise. So I might be getting flu or I might be getting pneumonia. I hope I don't die. But I've reached Jerusalem. I have the flu. He suggests I have the flu. It's not certain that yet. So. We can gain diplomacy, maybe. Or we can get learning or intrigue. I think we need to get some diplomacy here. If we can... Uh, what? I, my doctor told me, told you he had his assistant plant some onions. The first to bloom would tell us whether to stop the ointment or not. Until then, you rub the sticky stuff onto your chest. That is so disgusting. How good are you? Oh, you're a mystic, but your learning skill is horrible. Uh... You converted my subject. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am now a pilgrim. Thank you. Let's obligate the vassal. He is not happy with me. And he did. Thank you very much. He did agree not to associate with any factions. And I now have the flu. Uh, I trust your knowledge, a wise one. He will perform a mystical treatment. Uh, no, he's a very bad doctor. Just give me a well-tested treatment, please. Oh, I got ill treatment? You motherfucker. If you get me killed, I will be slightly upset. Slightly. I don't like my character because he's a kinslayer, but my brother over here is not a good person. He's got the lover's pox as well. Okay, so this is my daughter. She could get some learning and some diplomacy. So she's got five and six. So she got one and two. That's not... I think that's average, I suppose. Uh, why, ooh, why am I educating you? Let's ransom two people more. I think I'll just release these people. Once I got the ransom for them. Uh... Yeah, let's give you uh, ambitious. It's fine. We've become rivals with people, but they already hate us because we're a kinslayer. Uh, I can become content. Oh, wait, wait. I'm going to go ahead and release everybody. Ah. Visiting the monastery at which my order had convened this time, I join my fellow lay members in dutiful performing all tasks required of us. In the evening, after the day's hard work, the abbot gathers all of the visiting lay members and reveals the monastery's great treasure, a great relic that has been safeguarded here for many generations. I'm going to go ahead and try to steal this. The crown of thorns, because last time I did this, I got the robe of Jesus. And I forget the crown, uh, the crown of thorns as well. Those are some biblical uh, relics. Ah, Rothgar. There's a lot of fighting going on. I see a lot of armies. Let's see, who are you fighting? Defending against... Oh, you're fighting internally. Having decided that the relic would be much better safeguarded in my own hands, I must now tackle the task of how to liberate it from the confines of the monastery. I can think of a few different paths to take. I'm going to grab it and run. It is not likely to result in success, or I can bribe the abbot. Yeah, that's a lot of money. 
I'll go into debt, but it's fine. It's fine. We will make this money back somehow. Maybe we can... Uh, let's see here. Let's uh, borrow money from the Jews and then kick them out. Goodbye, Jews. Thank you for the money. My plan went flawlessly. Not a single soul saw or heard me during the night, and it was not ere daybreak that the theft was discovered. Nobody suspects it was I. The crown of thorns is in my treasury. Oh my god, what is this? The crown of thorns, quality 4. National revolt risk, minus 3. Diplomacy, plus 1. Same religion, opinion, plus 5. I have to be a part of the Christian group to use this. And then we get plus one piety. That is ridiculous amount, high amount of piety. Just plus one. That is that is cool. And my court church has requested to join the Knights of Calatrava. Yeah, sure, go. Join the Knights if you want to, man. I think I'm going to make a jewelry. Let's go ahead and... Uh, let's see, search for a smith. Yes. Find me a goldsmith to create a jewels befitting of my stature. Status. There we go. Uh, we can become friends with this guy. Isn't this the steward? Yes. This is the steward of the Teutonic Order. He's introducing his friend to me. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Crusade for Aquitaine. Again. Okay. He rejected my friendship. That's fine. How many troops do you have this time around? 30,000 troops. You have even more than the last time we tried this. Oh, boy. Let's see. Holy orders. We can hire two of them. It's 9,000 dudes. I think I'll go ahead and join this uh, crusade. Let's see, offer to join war, crusade for Aquitaine. Yes, thank you very much. Let's go ahead and give you thrift focus. And we have now joined the crusades. Let's go ahead and get the holy orders. And I'm not going to raise anything else. I'm just going to take the holy orders. You guys are what? Oh, you're Germanic pagans. I can use the holy order to kill you. <laughs> go here and then up. Don't, don't cross the river. And looks like they're running. Thank you. Um, the abbot of a nearby monastery has asked that you make a donation. Sure. I don't mind. Can I buy indulgences? Is that a possible? No. I can donate to church. Why not? More devotion. Can we rank up soon? 750 piety. Ah, uh, uh, devotion that I need for becoming a next rank. A random courtier. No, don't care. Uh, let's see here. During the last few days, I've overheard the same conversation again and again. Apparently, a most renowned goldsmith is traveling through Germania, and my courtiers are prattling excitedly about her work. Perhaps I should invite this woman and employ her services. Yes, Anna the Goldsmith. Nothing displays authority like fine jewelry. Let's see here. Uh, the Goldsmith, Anna, courteously accepted my invitation and arrived at court a mere week later. She has presented me with some sketches of her previous work and several letters of recommendation. I am assured of her skill, although I ask myself just how much money I can spare for a set of crown jewels. 668 gold. Yeah. I'm going to spend all the money here. I'm doing... Uh, I'm fighting with my uh, Holy Order, so it's fine. Here we go. Yeah, we have a lot of friends of friends making friends. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I'm not really that interested in tracking all of that. Good news, my Emperor, Anna said excitedly. The goldsmith has informed me that the precious metals and gemstones have been located in a nearby province. If we sent an expedition, it, would, it could increase the quality of the crown jewels we are currently crafting. Oh, wow. We go heavily into debt here. God damn. Wait, you guys are independent? Can I offer you vassalization? 
Oh, I have to. He's at war. He's a part of the Crusades. God damn it. It seems like Saxony has just died. They have nothing left except for this. Wow. Do they have a subholding here? Yeah, they got a subholding here. So this is the last remnants of Saxony. Oh, I'm so sorry, man. Holstein is here. Yeah, once this crusade is over, we can start demanding some stuff from them. But until then, I'm going to go ahead and try to get some money from this crusade. Because we need it. I spent a lot of money on that jewelry. Let's not worry about this. I can seclude myself in prayer. That's fine. But I do want to take part of the crusades here. So, I can gain temperate or diligent. I got temperate. Nice. Let's see here. Uh, it was, I was overcome by excitement and curiosity when Anna informed me the crown jewels were completed. As I am waiting in my throne for her servants to carry the great box across the room, I struggle not to leap up and meet them halfway. When I finally touch the heavy lid, my hands are shaking. So we get the crown of majesty, the emerald scepter, and sword of heroes. I lose some tech points. That's fine. Let's see here. Pause, pause, pause. So we got the Crown of Majesty, Quality 4, uh, Vassal Opinion, Tribal, City, and Feudal. Nice. And we get some Prestige. Emerald Scepter, more Opinion from my Vassals. And then we got the Sword of Heroes. That's a lot of Opinion from my Vassals. Holy shit. I've got some good things here, like the Crown of Thorns and the Seamless Robe of Jesus. Like, if I take a look at this modifier here, there should be one just for my treasury. Uh, National Revolt Risk, minus 3. National Tax Modifier, 10. Prestige and Piety is very high, 3.3 and 2.25. Martial 3, Diplomacy 1, Stewardship 1, Learning 2, Personal Combat Skill, and Morale Damage. And then we got a whole bunch of Opinion Boosts there. Nice! We have some really nice things here. And I think I'll stay at speed 4 and just sort of randomly sack some things here. Hopefully I don't get attacked. I just want some money. That's basically all I want. Uh -huh. So, for some reason we were not able to sack the rest of this. Why not? Huh. We should be able to. Why weren't we able to sack this? Oh, because they're Catholic, right? He hasn't... The vassals of the subholdings here are still Catholic. They haven't swapped them around, which is weird. I would think they took this land by doing holy wars. Become zealous. Uh-huh. My former ward. Let's see what we can get rid of from him. Maybe we can get rid of arbitrary? Charitable. I can give him charitable. So, okay... We stacked the top holding there. But you guys are all Catholic. Yeah. So, yeah, we can't use these holy orders to do this. But I'll get some money. It's fine. Temple here. Once I see the seeds bar go away, we can just uh, move on. Oh, there's a big fight over here. Emperor... Aaron of Germania, that's me. Ooh, nice. I'm number one here in contribution. 16%. I'm barely ahead of there. Let's start re... No, let's take the the bird. We'll try to become a falconer. Let's move on. And keep sacking things. Aspiring falconer. Nice. That's a, a lot of diplomacy boost. My coffers are empty. Let's ask my vassal here for 250 gold. Thank you. Uh, I have a favor to this guy here. Hopefully it's not going to be too bad. We can buy the favor back, I think. I hope. Midas touched from a random courtier. That's pretty good. You forced realm peace. That's fine. That means people have to stop fighting. And there's a lot of fighting going on here. Let's seclude myself in prayer. I could still get uh, temperate, I think. No, Diligent. I can still gain Diligent. 10% chance. No. Did not get it. But there's always a chance. 
I'm a falconer. Thank you very much. Can I just burn this down? Ooh, let's see here. Uh, oh, I did not win this. Aquitaine won this. God has granted Ralph Middlelungen victory in the crusade for Aquitaine against... Oh boy, okay, praise God. So the crusades are over and Aquitaine won this. They took Aquitaine, that's appropriate I suppose. Uh, metaphors. Let's just go ahead and dismiss my holy orders. That's fine. I'm guessing we had just a little bit to... We didn't fight any battles. We just had occupation of sieges and stuff like that. So that's not enough, apparently. You have to fight some battles to get enough participation. Um, uh, I think. Build a war chest. We can try. We need to stack up a thousand gold for that, though. Uh, let's seek treatment for illness. Do I still have the flu? I do. Okay. Spare some money. Well, sure, but once I have some money, I will. No, no, just do well-tested treatments. It's just the flu. Successful treatment. Thank you very much. But we still have the flu. We have to hope that it goes away here. Um... I need to take a look at the buildings in Prague and figure out how to reinforce them and make them harder to conquer if the country, the county, would be sieged. The buildings did not inspire me in any way, but I have a friend who is excellent at these kinds of things. Let's ask him to help. Is he an architect? No, he's a poet. Uh, let's just send it to the Benedictine Order. There's a lot of these events that happen again and again and again, and uh, reading them out loud every single time can get kind of tiring. But let's go ahead and stop here. So we were not able to win the Crusades, that is to take the kingdom for myself, but it's fine. Uh, we did get some jewelry, uh, which is also really nice. We are going to have our dynasty in control over here, which is really, really cool. Once this guy drops dead... He does not have any children, and yeah, his only children, uh, only child is a part of my dynasty, and he's been excommunicated. Damn, yeah, once we get this chick in charge, we're going to have to try to get her a part of my empire, and at that point, we are going to be so fucking massive that we could feasibly form the empire of Italia. And then through that form the Holy Roman Empire. Which is going to be so cool. It's going to be so cool. But anyway. I will see you guys in the next episode. But until then. See ya. And thanks for watching.